Hello everybody, this is Fig the Nig with a batch text based game tutorial using Notepad. Here I will teach you a little background command prompt games. Uh, and the reason we're using Notepad is because it's good for beginners and it's just overall a good starting point. There, You could use MS DOS edit if you want to, but I would leave that to more experienced people. So for now, we're going to stick to Notepad. Alright, first step in making a text-based game uh, and command prompt uh, is to start off by saying echo off. And on the next line, we're going to make a title. And the title is going to appear up here on the, on the bar. Um... And let's name it for, let's name it, this is a test game. And on this line, uh, what should we put? Alright, we're going to space it out a little bit. Yeah, and basically, echo dot is basically um, spacing it. Uh, that's all you're doing spacing it and echo the definition of echo is basically a print printed line of text on your screen and that's what appears um oh okay i forgot something color we're gonna add a color um oh let's see here all right the first term is a number and the number indicate indicates the background color of your batch file zero by default is black one is a uh, blue and it goes all the way up to nine so we're gonna use blue and your second term is a letter and this indicates your uh, font color and uh, for this one, I guess we'll use red, which is uh, C. Yeah, so now we're going back down here. And we're going to create a menu, a little menu, and options to choose from. Th this is basically where our variables start to begin. So we're going to do echo. Um, what would you like to do first? Question mark. All right. And then we're going to put um, the options that we're going to lay down for our menu. So obviously we need to start the game. So to, all right, to start the game, type one but if you're using letters in place of these the numbers i put down here if you're using letters like a b c whatever you got to make sure they're capital okay so that when you uh when you type down your variable in the if statement it recognizes that that your type that uh you're referring to the capital letter a and not just any other letter a so we're going to use actually one for this and we're going to create options and to exit the game I guess type 3 alright alright um, next step here now we're going to type out set uh, slash p. Actually, put that all together. Slash slash set slash p. Basically, what that does is we it it allows us to create a variable uh, for this code for this code right here. Here, I'll show you. So we're going to create a variable. Uh, you can name it what you want. I'm going to name it input. 
and then you're gonna put equals and this right here is kind of like your title essentially uh, I guess we're gonna call it I don't know command question mark uh, next step um, and now we're going to assign the variable input all right so basically what this here I'll type out first uh, two equals here um, one go to start so basically what this is saying is if the user inputs one then it's gonna go to the start pretty simple and you're gonna do that for each option so options I guess this is where oh fuck my bad input percent equals equals to go to options and the same for every other option and now um, here I'll show you control s I'm going to show you what it looks like All right, this is what it looks like when we typed all that in. Notice the spaces right here because that's a result of echo dot, which is just spacing the line out. Um, oh, the title, this is a test game, which is right here. Also, if you wanna like put a header or something, you just put echo welcome to the test game hold up let me exit this and there it goes it prints right there alright so it's gonna ask us for a command right so now we're gonna include one of these inputs that we wrote out so option one is go to start but the system cannot find where to go because we have not created a destination for uh, the variable start so we're going to create one right now uh, do this and echo this is basically your destination for start as soon as you type in one so you can put whatever echo uh, welcome to the game and you could add as many lines as you want uh, hello whatever whoop de fucking do okay and now we could uh, add pause at the end right here and then exit so basically what pause does is it uh it prevents the batch file from opening up and closing automatically so basically what pause does is uh all right in this case after we type in one it's going to say all of this but instead of closing out automatically it's going to stay open because we put in pause and then when we press enter after we're done with basically all of this it's going to exit so let's view that now. All right. So one, and those are our uh, results for typing in one or going to start whatever. Press enter, it exits. And basically, you could keep doing that for every option. Uh, I go. I don't know. Help, and then you could type out, you know, your your help options or whatever. Uh, I don't know system requirements, whatever, and then pause, 
Exit. <laughs> now we're going to view this. Type in 2. Boom. Results. And it exits when you press enter. So, those are the basics of how to create a text based game using uh, batch files and command prompt. Now, the, uh, creating a text based game is a good starting point for getting into scripting because scripting batch files is really simple. It, it doesn't take much learning at all. There's simple commands like echo, you know, all this, all these commands, simple commands that you can learn. This is a very good starting point if you want to get in further uh, game development using like better tools, not just text based, you know, expanding it with gameplay and, you know, like the games you see today. Uh, that's when you would resort to programming. I would highly recommend C++ if you even want to go into that field. Um, but that's that's if you want to go in that field. Whatever. This is just start. This is a tutorial. I'll further expand it in actually making a text-based game. If you guys want me to, just leave it in the comments. Like the video. Subscribe. Whatever. I don't really fucking care. Just let me know in some way. Alright, thanks.